video. This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. The JV Skill. For the JV this episode, we'll be doing the EB cross. Now, to do this, you're going to have one arm behind your back and one arm in front of your um, stomach. Now, to get into this, you're going to want to start from here. The rope's going to come over your head. Now, when the rope comes over your head, right here, you're going to pick whichever hand you want to go behind your back. Now, you should be able to learn to do it both ways. So right now, we're just going to pick one hand. I'm going to put my left arm behind my back. I'm going to go from here. Left arm behind my back. Right arm is going to go in front of my stomach. Now, right away, you'll notice that you can see my handle sticking out on this side. If you can't see that, if it's only in the middle of your back, you're not going to be able to do this skill very well. So you want to make sure that you get that handle all the way out. Now, a good thing that I've learned to do if I'm using just a normal short-handled rope, they do have long-handled ropes that some people use. I don't really like them because they kind of limit what you're able to do with jumping. So I use a short-handled rope. Now, to make sure that I get enough clearance with this trick, Instead of holding it at the very end like a lot of people do, I'm actually going to slide down. I've got this little piece at the end of the rope here that I'm going to just sort of grip with these two fingers. Now, these are the fingers that I'm going to use to hold the rope. So when I do this, by using just those fingers to hold the rope, it gives me an extra couple of inches that I can use to get this skill a little bit easier. So when you're doing this, you, wanna, you usually start here, but as you swing into it, slide your fingers out so you get that little bit of extra clearance. Now, from here, you're going to go from here one arm behind, one arm in front. You've got the enough clearance. You should be able to see both handles out on either side so it's clearing you. Now to swing the rope, we're going to start with the rope over, come over, around, and if you're swinging the rope in a very straight forward to backward motion, the rope should go right over your head. So you're going to go from here, around, rope should come over your head and you should be able to catch it on under your toes. Now a lot of people that I've seen when they try to do this, they tend to have this problem where they go here, and it whips around and it hits them either on the neck or it swings around and just sort of wraps them up. You want to try to make sure that you're not going super fast when you first do this because that can be one of the problems. You don't want to be swinging sideways when you're going into this. A lot of people, it's almost like they're doing a side swing. They come here, side swing around, and then they'll swing it sideways. So you, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the rope is in a very straightforward to backward motion while you're going. So you go from here, over, forward and backward, and the rope should come right over and you should be able to catch it under your toes. Now from here, there's a couple different things that you can do. You, there's, you can either come straight out and not jump, which is just a regular EB, or the EB cross, you jump it. To do the regular EB, we're gonna start here, comes over, swings out, right there I just bring my arms apart and I don't even have to jump and the rope's able to go back over my head. So from here, it comes over and out. Now, if you were going to do this, it's a good idea to practice doing it on the other side. So you go from here, out, go back to another EB on the other side, and you should be able to go back and forth with this without even jumping. This is a good re sort of resting trick if you're using it for a workout, and it also helps to work with your coordination. So you should be able to go nice and easy without even jumping over the rope. Now, once you've got the regular EB, you can start doing the EB cross. Now, the EB cross, you're going to do this, come over, Right where it's catching under your toes, you're going to jump over the rope this time. So when the rope's behind, it's going to come over, swing, jump, and then I just bring my arms out and I'm able to jump forward. You can either do it that way or you can jump, allow it to come over you again, and then go back out into an EB, just a standard EB. So there's two different ways of getting out of this, either here and out or here and out. And then once again, if you can do it on your right side, do it on your left side so you go back and forth with the EB cross. The varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be doing a quadruple under skill that is a side swing crisscross into an EB. And it's going to look like this. All in one jump. Now to do this skill, you're going to start off with just a side swing crisscross. Now you need to just sort of pick whichever side you want to do this on. You should be able to do it to both sides eventually, but sort of pick whatever your stronger side is. Usually what I do is I pick whatever side my TJ and Jami and those skills are really easy on. That's usually the side that I'll pick to do my crisscross on. So I'm going to do it on my left hand side. I'm going to go side swing, just, you know, standard side swing. From here I'm going to go into a side swing crisscross. So I go side swing over to cross. Now to go into the EB, whichever hand is on bottom 
is the arm that's going to go behind your back. So with my right arm on bottom, I'm just going to slide that arm behind my back and go into an EB. So once again, we're going to go from here, jump, right arm just slides behind my back, and then I jump into the EB. Now a little trick that I've learned with this skill that makes it a little bit easier to do is when you go into that EB, instead of keeping your body in a very straightforward position with your shoulders squared, turn your shoulders just a little bit where whatever arm is behind your back that's here, just turn that arm a little bit back and that makes it a little bit easier to get that rope underneath you. And you know, most people will never even notice that you're doing it. So when you're going side swing here, turn your shoulders a little bit to catch that EB. Now practice doing that on the ground a few times where you got that nice and easy. You can practice doing it on both sides where you're kind of going back and forth here. Once you got the feel there, we're going to start doing it in the air. Now you can break this into two different jumps if you want. You can do them both as double unders before you move into the quad. And the doubles would go one, two, one, two. And those are the two different jumps that we'll be doing all at one time. So practice doing those a few times so you feel comfortable with that. Once you've got those down in double under fashion, you've got one, two, one, two. You're ready to try doing the quad. Take a real big jump and just do it. Don't think about it. Just get in there and do it. Make sure you got it nice and comfortable. You know the motion on the ground and then just go for it. It's a lot easier if you just go for it. Don't try to think about it because that's where you'll chicken out and you won't make it. So once you're ready to go, up and go. Once you got that side, Try doing it on the other side. You should be able to go back and forth on the two sides. And to make it a little bit more difficult, you can also, once you got it on one side, go directly into the other side. Or to space that out, go into that side, do a double under, a triple under, and then back into the other side. So there's a lot of variations on that one. And you can go with that way. Try to land on both feet while you're doing this and work on that until you got it nice and consistently, and that is the side swing crisscross into an EB as a quadruple under. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.